Welcome to my Sideboard Diaries, your ultimate guide to digital experience excellence, your go-to channel for all the things in Sidecore and .NET. This is the video from Sidecore Headless JSS and we are going to talk about the last item in the JSS architecture that is Experience Age. This might be the last video also for the, from this series. I'm your host Jitendra Ghanekar. I'm in Sitecode Technology MVP 2024. Again, all my social media account handles on the screen. You can follow me. You can subscribe me. Uh, if you have any question, you can send an email also on my email address. So what we are going to see it is the experience age uh, in the Sitecode JSS architecture. So what we are going to see in this video in about experience age first of all we will have an overview what is experience age then we will see what is experience age connector then the benefits of experience age then the disadvantage of experience age and then the few best practices so again this is just an overview or a summary of experience age uh, which we will be using in the site core headless uh, uh, applications so let's start a today's topic experience age for xm so what is experience age experience age for xm is a highly scalable delivery platform that enables you to build jamstack architecture on the site core platform so experience age is available for a content hub and xm so we are talking about here for xm product okay so experience age is on for xm so it is a highly scalable delivery platform that enables you to build Jamstack architecture on this Sitecore platform. So what is Jamstack architecture? It is basically JavaScript, API and markup. So whatever uh, framework which is used JavaScript, API and markup that is your uh, Jamstack architecture. So it is built for the Jam Jamstack uh, architecture. So to make this thing uh, seamless, Sitecore offers the experience age connector. So in XM, your XM XCM role, you will have the experience age connector. This connector allows you to effortlessly sync your con uh, content from Sitecore to the experience age platform where it is ready to deliver across the multiple channel. Okay, so you will have a experience delivery. Okay, and this process is the this is done by uh, publishing content. So publishing uh, content. So publishing process will move your content to the experience age delivery. So think this experience age as a uh, delivery as a CDN. So once your content is synced, it's delivered at lightning speed from the edge. This reduces the latency, ensure faster load times and uh, optimal experience for your audience, no matter where they are in the World. so it is like a cdn only so must be doing what how cdn works right so you can have a global data replication also there so what are the highlights of the uh, experience edge delivery uh, first of all it's a jamstack and headless architecture it is for the jamstack and headless architecture it has a high performance uh, you have a uh, all the pages already available on your dcdn network and they and that is also one of the globally place CDN network so it will have a more fasting your good performance so basically high scalable delivery of a content so you can uh, scale your experience delivery as well as your XM uh, CM role faster speed for end user increase reliability and use it uses the GraphQL contain API so it, it provides the content via using the GraphQL contain API so using the GraphQL contain API you can uh, uh, provide your content from the expense delivery to different different platforms like it can be a mobile app it can be static website it can be iot devices or it can be virtual assistant so there's a multi-channel you can you can expose your content using the experience delivery now what is experience edge connector you use the experience edge connector module to publish the jss site and contain from Sitecore CM, that is the content management, to the highly scalable Sitecore Experience Edge delivery platform. So it is a connector used by Sitecore XM to publish the JSS site to the uh, your uh, Experience Edge. It create a specific publishing target for Experience Edge. So Experience Edge will be one of the uh, uh, publishing target, uh, or you can use the default internet target also. Uh, 
publishing item and site using the smart publish incremental publish and republish so all the publishing mechanism can be used to publish the content from sitecore cm to the uh, sitecore experience edge delivery by using the experience edge connector so how does the publishing process work here so when publishing start it start preparing the publishing contacts it start identifying the items to be published so this is one major difference here for normal publish and this one is that it needs to be identified the dependent uh, items also so connect what it does uh, sitecore experience age in the publishing process is it connect to the age and identify items to be published and return all the dependent items to be published so not only that item but the dependent item on that also will get published so it will get published all those items to the experience age and it's also sends an acknowledge to the uh, site code the experience age will send a acknowledgement to the site code that all the items are get published so this is how high level uh, the publishing works so it is also identifies the uh, what are the dependency on the item which you are publishing and it also publish that and that's how the publishing uh, process work now let's talk about the benefits of experience age first of all remove the infrastructure complexity remove or reduce the need of hosting content delivery servers in your site code infrastructure the straight away if you see the architecture the content delivery server will get removed and it will be taken over by the uh, in uh, your experience age so remove the infrastructure complexity scalability globally replicate and scale your site for content delivery so it's a, it's kind of a cdn so you can globally replicate those depending on the where your users are there so you can have a uh, your experiences close to that uh, location and also then you can scale your content delivery then uh, reaches customer across all channels so publish site for content to any device or any channel so that that content can be used by anyone by right? it can be used by watches phones tablet voice control device and so on integrates with any platform all application that uh, that are able to make api calls out can pull content in form of graphql it support graphql so uh, any application can make a call to the experience age by using the graphql query and get get the record so these are the benefits uh, or highlights of the experience age and if you talk about the disadvantage of my experiences first thing is very it, it has only a one source such provider that is the solar experience h for xm does not execute or support a site for personalization rule so it doesn't support a site for personalization rule it doesn't support a content testing and con textual or dynamic output from the layout service based on the user query string and so on so based on the user or query string if you want to get a data that is also not supported by the experience age psycho tracking analytics do not reflect the experience age api call so you will not get any information in the psycho tracking or analytics if there is a call is made to the uh, uh, experience age api psycho language fallback rules are applied at a publish time and can only be enabled disabled on the instance so it can be the, the publishing so language fallback can be enabled only on the instance not on the individual site so you have a multiple site in the site code you will not able to apply separate rules for each site it is always on the instance experience it doesn't support more than 1000 sites per tenant so every tenant can have maximum 1000 uh, sites uh, it doesn't support a virtual folder concept it doesn't support allies allies uh, concept and multiple site defining pointing to the same start item so if you have a site two sites which is pointing on the same start item that is also it is not supported and the last thing is it doesn't support the site code publishing service you do cannot have a separate site code publishing service as well as the azure search so these are the disadvantage of the experience each okay so now we have reached to the uh, final uh, screen or final topic of the headless uh, series the concept basically series and this is best practices when to use experience age uh, and what are the best practices to use experience age first is if you are you, you put a global data in the layout service output for pages a data change requires a republication thus do not put 
global data in the layout service output for the pages. For example, navigation data used in the page headers or footer. Consider using GraphQL calls from your rendering host to get the data instead. So if you put a global data in the layout service, then it, that data needs to have a republication. So try to avoid that. Use the preview endpoint on local or a self-hosted site code XM instance for a local development. Use experience edge delivery for testing, staging and production. So experience edge delivery can be used only for the testing, staging, but the preview endpoint can be used for the local development. And the last thing is if you are concerned about your public access to sensitive data requires, use serverless functions in the next JS API routes or other API tools to proxy required to experience it rather than invoking them directly from the browser. So we are invoking them directly from the web browser, you are exposing your API token in the process. So to avoid that, you can use a serverless function in the next JS API routes or you can use the proxies. So these are the three best practices. All right. Uh, we are done for this video, not only this video, but also the complete uh, Sitecore headless uh, concept series. So this was this was the this is the last video of the series. If you like the series, please watch all the videos and click on the like button and do share this with your friends and colleagues who want to understand Sitecore headless to share it on your LinkedIn ID should to share these few videos on your social media. If you have any comment, please provide that comment via the uh, via the comment section. Uh, you can ask the question also there. Until now, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel and click on that notification bell to get latest update. Thank you. We will meet in another series next time. Thank you. Thanks for watching.